think we should try to recreate our wedding kiss. Oh. Welcome to the vlog. I am Krista if you're new here and today is Spencer and my eight year anniversary. It's a work day and so we are keeping it casual and just doing something laid back tonight and then we'll do something fancy later on. But I was just out getting the rest of his gift and running some errands and I brought him a surprise because he said he always wants to be like surprised with coffee. So I tried my best. We'll see if he likes it. It's a pumpkin cold brew cream or something. I don't know, it looks like fun, right? And then of course I got myself this little sample of apple crisp macchiato, and it's real good. Okay, let's go. Do, 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 do. Hi. Hi. Surprise! Whoa, what is this? <laughs> I brought you coffee! Wow, thank you. <laughs> is this a good idea? Yeah, what, what is it? It's a pumpkin cold brew Ooh. something. Cream. Fall is here. I know, well that was the special. Hi baby. Happy anniversary, babe. Thank you. <laughs> I can't really take it from you right <laughs> I now. I know, but... sorry. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. I just got cored down for a nap and I just want to tell you guys, both of these coffees were pretty good. I think I actually like this apple crisp macchiato the best. But I was just thinking, you know, I'm not a coffee person really, but I can understand why people get coffee because I felt very accomplished just having gotten coffee. I was like, wow, I really did something today. <laughs> and speaking of feeling accomplished, another thing that made me feel that way was going to pick raspberries. Oh, not raspberries, blackberries. I have been picking so many because there is just like this giant field of them really close to our house. If you want to feel accomplished, go pick yourself some blackberries because once you come home with a big bucket, you're going to be like, oh, look at what I did today. And then with all of those gorgeous blackberries that I picked, I made this cake. It's a coffee cake. This is actually the second one that I've made because the first one was so good. So I made it again. I made a few little tweaks by adding cinnamon and a little salt, but so good. I'll link the recipe down below. We did have some of this for breakfast and I wish I could say that I made this for our anniversary, but the timing just ended up like that. But yes, special anniversary breakfast. So I think the plan for tonight is to go to the park where we took our wedding photos. So I'm excited for that. It's always fun to visit, but I wanted to show you guys. I've been working on a present for Spencer and it's one of those things where like, I had this vision in my head and sometimes things don't happen like you want them to, but this time, it, it really all worked out. So I'm the absolute worst at giving presents because I always just get so nervous to pick something out and then I end up giving them like five months late. But this time, I am actually ready, you guys. This was a gift that I had dreamt of, I think two years ago for our anniversary and I never made it. So it's finally happening. Here it is. I thought it would be fun to make Spencer a fill in the blank Mad Lib where he would have to find beers that fit different words because he loves like fancy beers and it turns out that he also loves Mad Libs. I did not know that until recently. You guys! I made this for him and I'm like so proud. Like I said, it, it just turned out better than I thought. The only thing is Spencer looks like an old man, which is not what I was going for, but I don't know. I tried to make it look like him with his little beard and stuff and his glasses. So yeah, I got the first beer for him, the bronze beer, because it's our bronze anniversary, eight years. And then for each of the pages, he has a blank to fill in and you know, my awesome artwork as well. So the idea is that we'll go to the store and we'll have a treasure hunt where he will have to find beers with specific names to fit into the story. Does that make sense? If it doesn't, you'll, you'll see it later. Oh, and I went to Total Wine earlier today and apparently the only beers that have bronze in the name are seasonal and they're, they are fall, but they're not quite out yet. So I got this one. We need to do a little Beer DIY, solid gold, solid bronze. <laughs> He'll never know. The workday is finally over. We're opening some presents. 
Is this how you celebrate on the worst day when your anniversary lands on a Wednesday? No. These are the days I take the day off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, dun dun dun, I put it in this wedding gift bag. It's kind of on theme. Yeah. It's like our eight year repeat wedding. Solid bronze because it's the bronze anniversary. <laughs> yeah, it came like that too. Yeah, I see that. Wow. Yeah, it's a special, special edition. Oh, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Mad Libs anniversary edition. I love Mad Libs. <laughs> Which is so sweet because these are Swarovski. Swarovski, I think. Swarovski. Swarovski. Sure. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Crystals, which is what was in the necklace that Spencer gave me on our wedding day. Thank you, babe. What else did you get? Skincare stuff. My favorite. We cleaned up good to go out. Court is still sleeping, and we're both like, uh, what? It's been like 45 minutes, but for him is a very long time. <laughs> yeah, we're like, are you okay? But I think he is. I think it's just like, we're so surprised when he does a normal nap. Yeah. Anyways, uh, once he gets up, then we'll go to the park. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm so salted. Yeah. <laughs> we're going in. And last time we were here, this little baby was in my tummy. <laughs> what do you think, bud? Very vibrating. <laughs> it's super surreal being back here, like now with him after having come here so recently pregnant. This is also where we got our wedding pictures taken, as I said earlier. It's really pretty this time of year. Yeah. Okay, babe, I think we should try to recreate our wedding kiss. Oh. <laughs> so, last time we were here, a few months ago, we walked past here. Uh oh, stroller's not doing so good. But, guess what wasn't here? The Rose Garden! What do you think? <laughs> oh, there's this one. Oh, serious? Serious or smiling? Oh, did you see the camera? Oh, there's a smile. <laughs> you can't decide. <laughs> We're gonna try to get a self timer family photo. <laughs> Will we be victorious? <laughs> picture of the three of us I'll put the pictures here but the bub just does not want to be in it he just doesn't like looking at the camera that's all that's true which is fair oh now he is well no <laughs> anyways fun at the park it's nice to meet you happy anniversary happy anniversary Hey guys, so it is Friday night. I just got Cord down for a nap and Spencer is currently getting some takeout for dinner to celebrate our anniversary. So I just thought that I would spruce myself up and get ready a little bit while he is out. So we mostly celebrated on Wednesday our real anniversary, but we wanted to get some dinner and do a movie tonight. So yeah, we were gonna go grab some fancier dinner tonight, but then that place didn't have what we wanted. And so we're going to my old standby. I'm getting some sushi and Spencer is gonna get a burger. What can I say? We're simple people. A treat is a treat if you make it one. That's what I think. So I'm really excited. I was thinking about putting on a dress and getting dressed up 
trying to look cute, but since we're doing a movie night at home and keeping it more casual, I think I'm not going to, but I do need to wear my dresses more soon. I'm gonna work on that. The one thing that I think I am gonna grab though is my wedding necklace that I was telling you guys about. I wanna wear this, I haven't worn this for a while. Good idea? <laughs> Are you eating dinner without me? I'm just having a snack. As you can see, dinner is here. What we got, babe? Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get this stuff out. Okay, this is better. <laughs> so we have a what? Teriyaki burger. All right. Fried green beans, sweet potato fries, and California rolls. Ooh. The crab salad Ooh. thing. Let's see them. Ooh, they look good. Oh man. I am excited for anniversary dinner. <laughs> All right, babe. It's time for anniversary questions. Trivia? <laughs> no, not trivia. Oh. It's just an anniversary check-in. I have three questions for you, and we'll do this next year too, so we can look back on this year. Okay. My first question is, and this is for both of us to answer, what was the best thing about this year? Having a baby. Yeah, I know, that's so easy. <laughs> that's an easy one this year. Yeah. yeah. Cord. Anything else though? Well, there's other cord related things that were really great, like finding out, finding telling, out telling are, people yeah. we are having the baby was so fun. Getting vaccinated was very yes, exciting. Yes, that was big. I think we're thinking of things that we did together. The mm. best the best thing about being married this year. So I feel like cord is clear number one. Yeah, obviously number one. I was going to say just being at home because of the pandemic. Yeah, maybe something we learned about ourselves is how much we like being at home. And together. Yeah. Okay, what was the worst thing about being married this year? Wait, is that how I want to phrase that question? The hardest thing? The most yes. difficult thing? Yes, the toughest thing. Probably Cord being here and us adjusting to having a new person was tough. And like mm -hmm. all the stuff that surrounds that, so many people wanting to see him. And as adjusting to having people back over at our house to visit. Mm -hmm. I'm just figuring out like how to be married with a baby. Yeah. Also, gosh, I guess we're, I'm just broken record here, but also just like the pandemic and like having to set boundaries as a couple and stuff, I think was tough, but we made it through. And then the third question is, what are your predictions for us for this coming year? Like, are we gonna go on vacation anywhere? Are we gonna do anything big? We're not having another baby, hopefully. Anything can happen. <laughs> I do hope that sometime before next year we will go on a vacation because it's been like two years since we've gone on any kind of vacation. Over like, two years. Yeah. Like anything, even like going to a overnight stay. Yeah. Even a camping trip, we haven't done anything, so. This year, we're gonna leave the house, people. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see, anything else? You want to buy a house? I don't know. Are we going to renovate the kitchen? That would be I, a big thing. That would be a big thing. I'm not sure I want to put that in a predictions thread because I don't want to feel... <laughs> well, we got to predict something. I think we should predict vacation, first vacation as a family of three, and renovating the kitchen. That seems pretty good. And expecting another baby. I don't know. Too. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We have a third guest on the video. A guest appearance. A guest appearance of the baby. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. Like and subscribe if you had fun celebrating with us today. And we're going to have some dinner and keep watching through the Marvel movies. Which one are we on? We're on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh. We're doing them in chronological order, so. I've never seen that one. You haven't? I think that's one you have seen. In my mind, I haven't seen All it. All right, well, it'll be fresh then. <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Bye. We will see you next week in a brand new video. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Is that your, your cutoff sentence? What's that that they call it? From Anchorman. Cutoff sentence? Sign off. Sign off. Cord, do you want to see the food? <laughs> <laughs>
This baby loves seeing food. Sweet potato fries. You'll be able to eat sweet potato pretty soon, and maybe even some green beans if we mush them up a little bit. Sushi. You could probably eat some rice. What do you think, buddy? You excited? Is your hand the best?